Right now at five, this update just in. Firefighters say four young people suffered injuries this afternoon in a house fire in South Knoxville. It happened just after two o'clock. That house sits in the 1600 block of Lendland Avenue. Fire crews say two of the miners were trapped in a basement. Beating back flames, crews managed to reach them and pull them out of that trouble. Tennis reporter Mary Klingler joins us from that scene live in South Knoxville. Mary, what can you tell us about the condition of the victims? Well, John, those victims are in the hospital right now. Two of them are in critical condition and two of them are in serious condition. So they're struggling right now over in the hospital. Neighbors say they actually saw first responders out here on the streets performing CPR on two of those children who are reportedly in critical condition. Now, authorities and fire crews have finally gotten this fire under control. As you can see behind me, the roof is completely gone. There's a lot of damage to this home. And the fire chief says that it is complete. It's a total loss. There is really a lot of destruction. They're going to be spending a lot of time finding those hot spots in there to put out the fire completely and find out what caused the fire. Now, authorities say several people live in that house, including seven people, and two, four of those were taken to the hospital. And like I said earlier, neighbors saw first responders performing CPR and two of those kids out here on the road. The two other are in critical condition now at the hospital. And there are also several animals that were inside the home, all four large dogs, and they all unfortunately died in this fire. Right now, neighbors say they're praying for the family that lives here at this home, and the fire crews say that it's still under investigation right now to find out what caused this fire. Toss it back over to you guys in the studio. Mary Klingler, live for us in South Knoxville tonight. We'll check back in with you, Mary.